All right, Brian, um, just want to remind you a few things before we work out today. Um, so the first things that we talked about, I really like your setup generally, uh, but one of the things that you tend to do with your back swing is you get that right elbow folded in a little bit too close, and that's what got that club really close to your shoulder. So earlier on in our session, we worked on trying to keep our right elbow a little bit further away. We talked about a couple of ways to visualize that. One is that kind of pizza pan type position where we feel like we're holding a pizza or a tray of drinks up here, where if we fold that, it's gonna spill them over our shoulder. So keeping that a little bit further away gave you a little bit more room to swing. Um, one thing we didn't talk about would actually be a good idea for you is a few right arm only swings this way, just to allow that club to extend up that way. It's one I thought was wrong. So um, once we got you doing that, we then started to talk a little bit about the dynamic movement through the ball. You actually did a pretty good job of getting loaded behind. We talked about continuing to turn with our chest and our hips this way. But on the way through, you tended to stall your body out, let the club pass by you this way, and then try to come up with your hips. So um, we found some good success, I thought, through towards the end of our session. Put the alignment rod in our belt to kind of take a good visual about where our hips were moving. Continue to have that room here, and then play those hips around and through the ball that way dynamically, right? What we saw is the more that you did that, we started to get a little bit of shaft lean in that club, the shaft a little bit hands ahead of the ball in that way, and allowed you to turn through a little bit more around. We did some of those kind of smaller swings at first to feel the about 70 or 80 yards here, really seeing that stick that we had through our thing turn around to the left this way, and that started to lower the angle of attack that we were having on the ball and turn through that ball very effectively. So those are a couple of things we worked on first and I think that's a really good start for, uh, for our first session. Thank you very much.